Hello, my name is Russ Mead. I'm an artist. I paint in the Sumi style. Sumi artists try to capture the spirit of their subject rather than the detail of their subject. So in a few brush strokes, I plan on conveying to you the thought of an elephant. This is a large piece of paper. This is going to be a four foot by five foot painting. And this painting reminds me of the story of Tavanga and his drum. It's really a story about an elephant as well. Tavanga, he lived on the African continent. Tavanga was a young man and had his own bicycle shop. People from all around would come not only to have their bicycles repaired, but to have Tavanga make these long special racks that he made for bicycles. Now, one day, it was an ordinary day, except for two men that he had never seen before came to his shop. And they said, Tavanga, we understand that you sometimes sell bicycles and that you make these wonderful long bicycle racks. We'd like to buy two of your bicycles. Tavanga thought about it. He did have two bicycles that were about ready to be sold. And he said, well, I don't know. It looks like you folks might be able to find some bicycles somewhere else. I'd really like to keep these bicycles for people that live in the village. And at that, one of the men opened a large sack and in the sack was filled with money. And this stranger said, Tavanga, all of this money is yours if you sell us two bicycles. Now Tavanga thought about that and it, the thought of all that money just overwhelmed him and he said, okay, I'll sell you the bicycles. And they said, well, they must be ready and the racks have to be on there by tomorrow morning. Tavanga said, yes. So he worked that afternoon and into the evening, and he made the bicycles. And he welded up his large racks. These racks are very sturdy. They can hold a lot, and they're called on to hold a lot in his village. Well, the next morning, the men came, and they had a duffel bag. And in the duffel bag, they pulled out the sack of money, and they gave it to Tavanga. Tavanga took the money, but then he was wondering, what are these men going to do with his bicycles, with his racks. So he decided that he was going to follow the men. So once they started to drive out of the village or ride out of the village on their bicycles, he jumped on his bicycle and he followed them. Now on Tavanga's bicycle, he's always got his drum. Tavanga takes his drum with him everywhere. In fact, his drum has come to be known as Tavanga's drum. It goes with him everywhere. So Tavanga's following as best he can, just trying to stay out of where the uh, men can see him. And then he figures out where they're gonna go. They stop on the edge of the watering hole. It's not too far from village. They open up the duffel bag and they pull out three items. One is a takedown rifle that they start assembling into a full-size rifle. The next is a, is a shovel and the third thing is a saw. And then he figures it out and his heart is broken. These men have come to shoot an elephant. Then they'll cut the tusks off and bury them. And then a couple of months down the road, they'll come back and they'll dig up the tusks and sell them as ivory. Now, Tavanga, he doesn't know what to do, but there's no elephants there. But then, as this picture reminds me, an elephant does show up to get a drink of water. The elephant goes down into the water. And the men, they, they got the rifle. They're starting to pull it up. They're ready to shoot. And Tavanga says, what can I do? He's thinking, what can I do to warn this elephant? How can I communicate to the elephant that they're in danger and they need to run? So Tavanga, he thinks about his drum. 
And so he goes over to his bicycle that has the drum, and he, and, he, and he starts playing his drum as loud as he can. And he starts yelling, elephant run, elephant run. And somehow, the elephant not only hears him, but understands. Tavanga has managed to communicate that the elephant's in danger. At that, the elephant jumps out of the water. But just as he was jumping, the rifle cracks. But the good news is the elephant was a little faster than the bullet. And as he's leaving, the bullet is coming his way, and the bullet just creases the elephant's leg. Not enough to seriously injure the elephant, but enough to hit them. Then the poachers, they're angry. The elephant's out of range. They can't shoot the elephant. And they wanted to see where this was coming from. This, this drum was coming from, and they turn and they see Tavanga, and they raise their rifle. And at that, Tavanga knows he's in danger. So Tavanga jumps on his bicycle, and he pedals as fast as he can, as fast as he can, and he pedals straight through his village until he gets to the town that's adjacent to the village. Now this town is where the officials all live and work. He goes to the official office, and he says, oh, this is what happened. I had no idea that my bicycles were going to be used like this. And he explains how the rifle went off and how the rifle bullet grazed the elephant, but the elephant was OK. And he explains how the men took a shot at him as well, but he was too fast, and he got out of the way in time. And at this, the officials jump in their vehicles, and they go through the brush, and they find the men. There's a big trial. Tavanga testifies. The men are convicted, and now they're spending the rest of their lives in jail. And from this point on, the term Tavanga's drum means anytime you're trying to communicate with an animal, and you can't really find the words, but somehow, somehow, you're able to convey your thoughts over that animal. People say, well, if you want to talk to that animal, you just need to use Tavanga's drum. Thank you.